Hey YouTubers, this is EMDSD14R. It is July the 25th, 2021. And this is Helpful Tips. How to install LED lighting in your Walther's uh, mainline passenger cars. Now, um, Walther's actually does have a lighting kit specifically made for their cars. But what I'm using in the place of that kit is I'm using the Easy Peasy Shorty Rapido Trains Passenger Car Lighting Kit. Um, I actually saw these at the train shop or the train store in Stroudsburg uh, yesterday when I was up there. And I decided to buy two of them. Um, because I thought it would be an easy way to um, install lighting in my passenger cars without having to do all the wiring. Now, obviously, you can modify these boards to actually be hardwired, and then you have to do the pickups for your trucks and then get metal wheels for them, obviously. But I just wanted to see um, how this would work, and I actually was able to do one car so far, as you guys can see here. Now, I will admit one of the LEDs was blown out in this car, or in this kit. Um, but yeah, you can just wave the wand over, turn them off, and turn them on, which is really cool. Now, it's not just something simple that you just, uh, um, you just stick inside the car. There are some modifications you have to do to the interior of the car, or the roof, I should say, the inside of the roof. Um, so the materials you're going to need... You're obviously going to need the lighting kit. And these run about 15 bucks. Well, I paid 15 bucks for mine. And then you're going to need your... And I got this because I just thought it was the best one. This is your Scotch mount, double-sided mounting tape. It's good for 15 pounds, which is nowhere near. But the cool thing about this particular tape is it's actually narrower or about the same width as the light board here. So it's about the same width, which is really cool um, because, yeah, it's pretty simple to do. Um, so you just stick it on there and not have to worry about trimming off any excess on each side of the lighting board. And then you just need your, uh, your trusty scissors here. Um, and then you're going to need your Dremel tool with the sanding attachment there. Let me see if I can get that to focus. So you're going to need that. Um, and then you're going to need your goggles, obviously. But, um, yeah. So let's get started with this project. Um, it's actually pretty easy to take the roof off of one of these cars. Um, they're just held on with... They're just like the proto cars. It's the exact same body and everything. It's just that it's... You know, trucks aren't the same type of trucks. But, you know... They're already designed to pick up power with the uh, plates under there, but and as you can see, that looks really good. And the cool thing is, if you need to change the batteries, you can just pop the roof off and, you know, put the batteries in. Um, but let's get started with the teardown. Um, this is actually one of the cars that I numbered. Right here. So I'm glad I chose this one because it's numbered. So let's get started. I will be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. And after several minutes of fiddling around with this thing, I remembered something that someone told me a while back. Uh, the Walther's mainline passenger cars, they don't, um, they have these tabs that are on the roof or on the underside of the car right here. And basically, to get the roof off, you have to literally twist the body of the car both ways to get the roof off the car. Um, I kind of used my flathead screwdriver in some areas, and there was not really damage, but you don't really want to do that if you don't have to. This car, 
this car I didn't have to do that with. I didn't have to twist the roof. I just, you know, was able to pry it off from the end here with the markers. Maybe I did a little bit of twisting, but, uh, yeah, that was an ordeal. All right, so now that the roof is off, now I have to prep the inside of the roof for the uh, Rapido kit. So if you see these these holes here, or these, these holes with the studs, this is for the Walther's LED kit. So basically what it will require you to do is you use the Walther's kit, then you have to remove the floor or the interior of the car, and then, you know, put your wires in and stuff under there and then close it all up. But since the Rapido one doesn't require that, all I have to do is use my Dremel tool and remove these pieces here. And then I will set the car or set the lighting kit inside the car. Now, I'm looking at this and I'm trying to figure out where the best place would be to put the, um, the lighting kit. Um, because I have a bathroom here, I think that's a bathroom, and a bathroom here. So I have to figure out where I'm going to sit this inside the car, because at least at the, the that car I had the battery sit back here. So i got to see if I can get them to fit right in this area so that the whole car is illuminated. So that's the next step. Uh, well, yeah, take this out, put the tape on, and yeah, ah, uh, yeah. I'll, I'll show you guys. You guys get it. But uh, next operation is going to get these removed. Okay, the studs have been removed. As you can see here. Now the next order of business is to sand everything down. So I'm just going to be using this scrap piece of sandpaper here. Um, what 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 is this? I think this is 180 grit. So I'm just going to use this scrap sandpaper here. Sand everything down in here. Then I'm going to wash the inside with soap and water thoroughly, and then I'll be ready to um, install the kit. Okay guys, I'm back, and I just got done uh, washing this out. So it's all clean in here. So next operation is to take the kit out, put the double-sided stick tape on it, and then we should be ready to go. Okay, I have the batteries installed, and let me just lean this. Uh, let me just lean this up against here like so. Uh, I I can lean it. There we go. So before I install these kits, I usually just test them to make sure that they work, and it works. So now all I have to do. Now all I have to do is um, cut the tape. Uh, let me see if I can do this on camera. So what I usually do is I just lay the light bar down or the light, you know, board down. I should say board. And then, um, yeah, let me put the camera down and I'll show you the end result. So basically what I do is I um, I cut the tape um, to the proper length. So I start here and then I move this way and I cut it out. Sorry about that, my camera actually cut out. Um, so yeah, I cut them basically to length um, as needed on both ends. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if... I'm going to see which end this is going to sit on or sit in because I want to make sure I have enough room inside of the car to fit this. So it might actually have to go something like that, maybe, which I think it would be fine, but um, I don't know. Um, Maybe I'll look at this car with the lights on and see how far away it is um, inside of there. And then I'll make the determination using that as a reference. Um, but once that is done, um, I will go ahead and install it on this roof. I will show you guys that process. And then I will show you the finished uh, product. So I'm just test fitting right now, guys. Um, I'm just mocking up where it's going to go uh, in the car. And see how it looks 
And I think that's the final place that I'm going to have it. Um, I think that's a good place to put it. So now all I got to do is take the tape off and then uh, press it to fit and it should be ready to go. Okay, guys, I got the light kit in. And it's pretty much ready to go. Uh, let me just do another test. See what we got here. Yep. Alright, so that works. So now the final stage is just uh, reinstallation. Okay guys, I got the car back together. Let's test it out. Wow. That looks amazing. Wow. can't see from that end that's really cool though that's really cool I mean what a difference that makes guys I mean that that's a huge improvement I mean That is so cool. Like, you, you can't beat that. I mean, 15 bucks a kit, you can't beat that. Um, I'm definitely going to buy more of these in the future. Um, but yeah, I, I really am. I'm really impressed with this. I'm really impressed. Now all I have to do is I just have to paint the interior and add some people in there. Uh, but that's a future project for something later down the road. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this how-to helpful tips video. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. God bless, and I'll have more videos coming soon. Later, y'all.